Now to a huge health story that's making headlines across the country and even here in Indiana mm -hmm. as we learn now of some new vaping risks. Our state health department now is looking into 31 vaping related illnesses here. At least one confirmed death. And tonight at 6, our own Mary Mills with how the warning to stop vaping is affecting stores across Central Indiana. Mary? We've been in business six years. The industry has been around for over 10 years. And all of a sudden, this is happening. Shadi Corey owns this e-cigarette store in Broad Ripple and nine others in Indiana. That's how an e-cigarette works. He says of the vaping-related deaths and growing health concerns. I mean, it's hurting us. I mean, I, Friday night, I was at a bar, and I get three emails like, hey, like, can you send me this? I don't know. Is vaping safe? Is the product that you sell safe? His vaping store, one of 16 we reached out to. The others told us while they had not seen a decrease in sales, customers were asking more questions. A West Lafayette manager told us black market vaping is what is causing the problem. In Fishers, we heard what the person was smoking is different than what we sell in stores. And in Muncie, we are working to educate customers on what is healthy for them. I want to make sure that people are buying their products from reputable sources. The FDA says the illnesses appear linked to people vaping illegal or counterfeit products. It makes sense that some sort of bootleg product or some illegitimate product has found its way into people's hands and that's what's causing the damage. He says here's the issue. You can buy a cartridge like this anywhere, go home and fill it with whatever you want, whether or not it's safe or even legal. Like so many others, he's hoping the cause of the illnesses is confirmed soon not just for the health of his business, but for customers. Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.